The world is watching as Palestinians go hungry due to Israel's war on Gaza. It's now clear the ICJ is watching as well. On Thursday, the court unexpectedly announced new orders on Israel to try to prevent famine. There are three new provisional measures, but the most significant one calls on Israel to, without delay, ensure unhindered provision of humanitarian aid, everything from food and water to clothing and shelter, throughout Gaza, including increasing the capacity and number of land crossing points and maintaining them open for as long as necessary. This additional provisional measure also calls on Israel with immediate effect to halt any military action that prevents the delivery of that aid. The Secretary General has no say over the decisions made by the primary judicial organ of the UN, but is following the case closely. We do believe as a matter of principle that all member states need to abide, abide by and implement uh, decisions of the court. The court said famine is now setting in in Gaza, thus justifying the additional provisional measures. Many of the judges considered that Israel was not really compliant with the order. Um, and also, given the specificity of the order itself uh, when it comes to aid and humanitarian aid, um, I think uh, it is clear that this is going to be a key aspect of the discussion for South Africa going forward. This is potentially what might make or break the case in terms of like how do you decide whether genocide is happening, is going to be this whole debacle of denying aid to, to Gaza. The ICJ has also requested Israel issue a report on all of the measures it has taken to abide by the new provisional measures. That report is due by the end of April. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera at the United Nations in New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.